Hi, I'm Wojtek. I work here for more than four years now. It's been a long time with me and React Native being lovers, really. And I always wanted to create talk like this when I don't talk about any technical stuff at all, just about the queer current features you can create in your mobile apps. It doesn't even depend on the software or hardware. You're using Android or iOS. And we can just be crazy about what we do. So I created this little, the quick guide for the creative solution for every app. And it obviously has high quality. Everything with a star has a quite high quality, like the QC on every Chinese stuff. So the chapter first is things you can add so it looks like you're creative, you know, like, I'm not creative, I just follow patterns and people think I am, so if it works, <laughs> just don't tell anyone. Uh, first is customizable icons. Not many people use it, not many apps have it implemented. First I realized I can do it in uh, GitHub app actually when I choose my beautiful rainbow white icon and it was, I was super cool. The karaoke fantasy on the bottom was also pretty good. And then I realized more and more app are implementing this stuff like Snapchat, the Tinder, when you get the Tinder Pro, when Reddit and all applications for young people that want to know stuff, Microsoft Outlook of course, And my favorite Twitter, of course, when you pay it a bucks for Twitter Blue, you don't only get the badge, you also get customizable icons, <laughs> seasonal icons. <Ooh. laughs> so yeah, you don't, um, you don't only steal identity, you can always have a different icon. So that was the first step. Second step is use sensors because all our phones have those little stuff inside that can realize the gestures like this. And we can use it in some ways. Some can use it to make some parallax, uh, to move some things around in your menu on the background or anything. For example, MetaMask uh, have this 3D Fox that you can, I mean, this, you have to trust me. I recorded my phone when I was moving it. It will be strange, right? Yeah, trust me. And it happens all over the place. Like when you have the PS3, I don't know if you remember that stuff, but it was a long time ago. But I turned on my PS3 yesterday to check it out. But surely if you take your PS3 controller and start to move around, you are able to move the stars that are going around. I was, I was pretty amazed. And yeah, when we talking about stars and glowing, here's the, my, because this is the guide, my quick simple tutorial how to shine. For example, if you get some award, for example, your user is, I don't know, still alive or logged in into the app or didn't delete your app within two months or something like that, you can give him this award and my simple solution to make it more exciting is download GIMP because it's free, uh, import it, blur, light up, opacity to down a little, you get something like this, and you just animate this one below. You can do it for everything, it always works. <laughs> you can combine it with the sensor, <laughs> an icon. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe. That's not my battery. <laughs> if you're gonna stare for it like 10 hours, then maybe. <laughs> uh, next step is, of course, use emojis for commit names, avatars, anywhere. Like, emojis are everything. Like, initial commit for your new projects, give it an ogre face. Why, I don't know, I just merged. <laughs> 
when fixing some bugs always works and nobody is angry at you. For example, I worked for this some time for this crazy uh, great project, the Rainbow Wallet, and they used the av emojis for those avatars that you can simply manipulate. And that was totally random, so everyone got something crazy. And in the latest release of iOS, you get this super new and exciting icon here on creating new wallpaper. And the stuff I found inside is like, mm. <laughs> I don't know about readability, but <laughs> yeah. You can put any, any emoji you want. I think up to six at the time, so. Moving splash, oh, we, it's getting harder here, I have to admit, because this one, you actually need some kind of help from your designer, but we're gonna throw it, like the Twitter got one, Twitter. Uh, the Tinder got one, the MetaMask had this creation animation. Um, from us as developers, it's not much work because we're gonna only implement the animation that somebody else make, but you know, it ain't much, but you can be the creative one who said, hey, let's make it. <laughs> Okay, use error screen as opportunity. And like for real, I'm serious. Like most of you probably know HTTP cats. That's open source stuff for every single uh, error you can have. And you can just simply out of the box. But I have to admin, admit one thing here. I like, I'm an OLX addict. If you don't know what OLX is, it's like second hand uh, auction site, you can buy anything uh, from, I don't know, board games, cars, estate, real estate, uh, tractors, I don't know what you want to buy, buy, but it's there. And one time I wanted to sh look for something for my car and I was like, hmm, is that some new category I don't know anything about? Is that portal to another dimension? Click it. Sorry, the site is unavailable. What about the short game? <laughs> I, I, do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. But yeah, it's, it's there. I, I wasn't even mad. <laughs> that's, that's the point. When user hits some error state, he probably gonna be mad. So he can make him just laugh and make like, why? <laughs> and here I have to tell you something, something really, really sad. I can draw, I can draw nothing. Like Microsoft Paint is the best I can do and if your drawings look like mine, like this is a human, this is a flower and the best car I've ever seen, uh, don't worry because I use flat icons all of the time. Those are really awesome icons for all kind of stuff. I use it for all my fun projects I do when I want to create something. And if you want, a, I don't know, a cute printer, a teacher for some reason, or a monkey, then it's all there. You also get monkeys from all the kinds, like this wandering monkey, the happy outline monkey, the monkey that's looking right into your soul. <laughs> Yeah, it's all there, and the most important thing for us, it's, it's vectors. So, <laughs> end of afternoon, nobody pay me for this, like for real, I, this is just my honest opinion, I, I love the flat icon. But about the monkey, it's, if it's vector, we can do much, much more with it than when it's rasterized image like PNG or JPEG. Because you can't forget that we can do SVG animations really, really simply. And we can do it in two ways, I can say. One is that we can give it to a designer or somebody like this, and he will create his mambo jumbo in the After Effects or anything, and we will just export it in Lottie. 
and it's working pretty great, but we are not here for simple solutions. We are here for code. So here are two simple examples of how you can have fun with SVGs, like this writing on the bicycle bar, I don't know. Or more important, you can absolutely have control over how the image looks based on the code if you need that. Like with this house, you can actually make it larger, stronger, more, or more like crackle-like, like the smallest possible. <laughs> oh no, I lost, oh no, oh yes. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget that you can pretty easily animate any SVG you get and you can use it to anything. You can use it to move the head of your monkey <laughs> or straight more deeply into your soul. And chapter two is, okay, we got this, all those features that we can use. You got also more obscure APIs that I don't know even about, but I to take the creativity, the inspiration from a couple of apps. And one of those apps is really problematic for me because it's Tinder. <laughs> it's really well made. It's super great in case of animations, of how it handles user gestures, uh, the funky stuff they create, but I only got this one moment when I have to say, hey honey, I'm gonna install it again. <laughs> like, <laughs> animations, hmm? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so yeah, I installed it anyway. It's, it's always worth it, trust me. And there's a couple of apps like this. There's Tinder. <laughs> there's MetaMask I always keep without the money inside. And when you get all your inspiration from apps you like or things you like or anything, I know if you're, if you're into biking or something, just take inspiration from apps that are around you or commercials that are around you. And don't be ashamed to create some strange things you create along the process. Uh, because I don't know if you remember the old game, the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets game for the PC. And there was one spell called Spongify, and it looks something like this. That was a platform that make you jump, and the real story behind it, from I heard with talks with developers, is that someone from the interns messed the variables so much that he broke the jumping to this point that it became this. <laughs> So yeah, don't don't be ashamed if you create something that looks kind of weird, but but it's okay. And it question was already here. So don't be afraid about performance that much because adding one effect won't ruin your app for all. I like to think about it like if you are still afraid, think about 3G, 3DS. Yes, I mean the 3DS, Nintendo 3DS, the console that was released in 2011 and was produced to 2020, 2020, I think. And think about, look at the specs. 128 megabytes of RAM, dual core processor with clock speed of 268 megahertz. That's a CPU, a powerful 133 megahertz. And people, actually created great journeys, great big adventures, racing games there. And you are afraid that something like this will break your phone. <laughs> like, <n> no. <laughs> You're really gonna have capable. Your iPhone 13 Pro Ultra Max is capable of doing simple rotation and, and some simple animations. So, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you get some inspiration from this little presentation and see you in the next one. <laughs>